What? Good YouTube, and welcome to the next Zodiac. Cross Domination Magical Musket has been bought out to the point of $52. This is ridiculous, overproportioned hype, but people spent up to $20 on copies as it was running off the market. And the lowest listing probably isn't going to sell for this, but I think it is completely overhyped. Usually whenever a ban list drops, people go, oh, Tier Limit got hit, there goes Snow, oh, Sprite got hit, they lost Ronin Tone. my time is now for my Rogue deck and they kind of over jump it i do agree that link into the brains was mad under hyped for what it was being originally introduced to the tens and these mega tens have been easier to influence than ever because there's less of them open because of the short printing so link into the brains itself really doubled in price from the dollar 50 ish it was at to three to four dollars right now and the card is good but that hype of this card's underestimated going into well what's it good with really feels feels like it went heavy with muskets which are from spirit warriors which are missing a lot of reprints now i do tend to look over at the eu whenever it's this crazy and i see that it did have buyouts lagging behind the us to a degree but already calmed down there's over like 600 copies almost on here i think it's like 547 last i looked and when going through here i always get corrected the uk sellers are what i tend to go for as well as english copies and english copies start appearing at certain places around the six-ish euros and i even see some uk sellers here in the sevens i believe yeah right here three copies so it has way way less like of a traction over here and let me know if you're from card market how i keep butchering this because every single time i feel like i say over here in the uk english copies are and then i say oh the lowest english copies are and i always feel like somebody from a different region corrects me on how hard it is to get cards in certain regions from market watch and 45 percent of my audience is international i need to be doing better with keeping up with y'all over there but when it comes to it there's been hype in both places deflated a lot more over here yet is continuing to try to get traction over there it'll be interesting to see how it goes on card market also magical muskets in general are missing a ton of reprints while caspar and starfire were two of the most wanted ones back in the day for having the actual shorts we see that cross Dom did not get one we had last stand not getting one and i made up a reprint of magical musket max in my head i thought it got a gold letter rare but here it is 29 listings and starting to go off so if you want to play the deck you might want to get certain cheaper cards before it's a lot harder to get them for a long time but again then you're adding on to the hype and fueling on it's really there's no good balance here with how people are running at this deck mystic mine remember banless day i got a comment later in the day he's blowing it out of proportion mystic mine's only ten dollars for the gold that's how fast the market moves and why i don't edit these videos i do this all in one take whenever somebody says like i like the editing on your video i take it as a huge compliment because i've just learned to talk more fluidly but mystic mind gold going from 20 to 10 in a single day and continuing to go down actually people seem allergic to gold rare versions of cards at times and the super rare still far under the 20 that it was selling for at one point but the secret rares i pointed which i did think might stick 20 to 18 the highest rarity version is really sticking to that price right now so we'll have to see how this actually goes out how it impacts the metagame it's been taking down a lot of events but love it or hate it the price has gotten a lot cheaper versus the banless day hype as i pointed out now garura wings of resident life this is a great super poly target and super poly didn't get hit at all on the ban list people were really looking at that and instant fusion and this card for super poly and tier element is just crazy good and you see the lowest copies there is one seller zero percent at 17 before it is a 20 dollar card we pointed at this as it went from 12 to 16 now 16 to 20 it continues to go up out of power of the elements and a lot of the vendors were right there's just so much value in the ultra rares for this set that it's pretty crazy destiny hero destroy phoenix enforcer starlight also spiked as fusion went to three the fusion destiny and you can see here it was around 300 and now the lowest copies are 420 blaze it you know what time it is before it goes towards 450 again i think sales into the hype this will probably come back down a bit but there's not a ton of sales over that 400 dollar mark either just a couple right here we'll have to see how people continue on this for a max rarity hero which often does get overpriced
Cyber Angel Benton is one I missed on Banless Day. It has a LART, which is funny, people are giving that nicknames, as well as the Secret Rare, which are argued as the two highest rarities. People looking at this card and picking it up to be able to play it in three ofs, and also just going for it because they got rid of the deck and want three of it now. You know, people are definitely buying these two versions over all else, but there are lowering quantities of certain ones like the super rare here, and then you're stuck with commons, which is fine, depending on who you are. I gotta have all hollows, but the commons are very cheap and accessible. The holographics, even the super is getting harder to get out of <laughs> dimensional guardians. Right of Armaseer is something I pointed out that spiked real hard on Banless Day and is cooling off just a little bit versus that. But I did say that Water Enchantress didn't seem to be going that crazy. Well, now it is starting to come from behind here. And I didn't know this got all the way down to 15 It's around $22 if you just want the accessible copy. And then you have the Ultimate Rare, which did spike pretty hard on Banless Day. It's around $52 right now. And the Collector Rare Staying Queen here. Well, it you saw it fall down over time still a little baby bump up towards mostly $70 but low rated sellers slash not top rated sellers but decent feedback they do have some copies here, depending, like 100% feedback. I'd probably trust that seller. Go through reviews. They're listing after everything's been bought out. So they probably want to make a good sale, right? Over here, though, 50% question mark. Next up, we have Live Twins and Evil Twins. Sprite has some copium in it. And the Collector Rare Leela definitely spiking up some of the hardest out of all of the targets for the Live Twins. It is now lowest near $100. There's one here at $91 before it goes far up. I don't know if it says near mint, but then it has a photo. Maybe this is actually the cheapest copy. I'd have to stare at it. Next up, you have Evil Twin Kisa Kill. No stranger to buyouts. If you want just the accessible version, it is back up to almost 50 around 45 46 before it is 49 50 and you can see the spike there on it the collector rare also going up somewhat similarly you can see it had a dip for a while as oh no this isn't the best version of the deck and you see top rated sellers here at 97 to 100 a baby bump there also nimble angler spiking real hard as a lot of sprite players go this away and of course only having one printing out of abyss rising a very hard card to get you have nimble beaver also re stating itself as a solid two to three dollar common where it's been but going out of quantities so if you're actually on that version you might want to get your nimble beavers sooner than later spellbook of fate is completely on buyout mode we talked about a lot of spell books during ban list day well this is another one that got hard targeted out completely on the ultra rare here no current listings and the ultimate rare also going pretty insane people are really hyped for this again feels like overhype but people go member win member the only competitor to dragon ruler forget forget brofion <laughs> they really like spell books and here it goes now let's talk about some of the cards that did get hit ulti halk i don't know that halk will ever be coming back they danced around it for so long and finally hit it it could be a very long time for that and people love banless speculate oh, could it come back now could it go you'll start hearing that in a year or two i do think as the ultimate goes down in price it's not a bad thing to have in a banless binder but will it be super stock Thanks. Now, the other versions being so cheap, it was cheap before that as people figured it was going to get banned, then goes from the past to second haunting made it very cheap. I still like the ultimate rare version the most, but I would wait for it to fall out a little more before updating my banless binder. I saw someone post they had Penny Stonks and Chaos Ruler, and someone else saying, I'll take them off your hand. I do feel like this is one that could come back eventually, but who knows with Konami, they could consider its revivability and mill aspect way too much for the game. And the secret rare, I think, will come back down even more over time people will probably let it go around seven then five but the ultra rare will probably fully bottom out until people start speculating on it fairy tale snow this was actually what i was going to talk about going back up over time for the super rare before banlist day and it's come down to pretty far all the commons still a little bit it's funny that ots 19 has snow in it too i saw a picture of can't wait to upgrade my deck and it's like cards that got banned and a token out of ots 19 but yeah the commons will probably fall back out will history repeat itself Konami doesn't usually bring back a card again after re-banning it. Sometimes it happens. You're speculating whenever it comes to the ban list. Earth Shattering Event, finally out of ban list zones, is being talked about in order to counter tier limits and getting some hype. I didn't know this was a 3 to $4 card, and uh, I've heard that there's discords that are trying to hype this. I like to, whenever I hear that, kind of look at the card head on and see how I feel. If a card or cards is sent from the deck, 
to the graveyard, target one card in either player's graveyard, shuffle it in the deck, and neither player can send cards from the deck to the graveyard the rest of the turn. I do like that. It's a floodgate that ends up shutting them off, and it seems pretty good. I do think that Soul Drain is probably the better card that people talk about. Either way, you have to go first. You get to flip this versus the interaction versus they already know what they're dealing with when this is face up. It's out of world superstars, doesn't have any other versions that I'm aware of, versus Soul Drain, I still think is probably the better card in my opinion but let me know what you think and any advantages that you might see with having like oh they can't deal with it immediately that spell is so good then versus maybe they can combo into dealing with soul drain i'll say has been consistently up somebody in the discord thought this got bought out but it's actually just consistent ever since rika was doing its thing and you can see the sales right there back it's not like a sudden buyout it's all gone and look at this consistency with i'll say so be aware plant good stuff especially when it doesn't have many printings has been getting attention and has stayed up in price and is even selling pretty well. And finally, ns, 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 baby, when it comes to this card, it's an Artemis Slay target. Let me know if there's anything else. Like, I guess you could super poly with it against certain decks, but I don't know how often that comes up. Let me know if you know, like, anything else besides Artemis Slay that's actually influential in the metagame with this card, but it's been consistently up there. I didn't know that it, like, kept trekking upwards in price. I hadn't looked at this card in a long time, so since basically Slay started to come down in price, and it's been consistently going up in price, even for the gold version, which people claim to be allergic to. Thanks for watching today's Market Watch. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy the conversation and discussions, looks around the ban list and not just the ban list, and let me know what you think of how things are developing, how hype is falling out, and how other hype is building.